If you're heading to China for the Olympics, don't count on having much privacy there, either in public or in private. About 70,000 of Beijing's taxis now carry microphones, and the taxis can be tracked by the government using GPS technology. Now, these microphones, by the way, can be turned off and on from a remote location without the driver's knowledge. So the question is, are Chinese authorities using these devices to spy on visitors there for the Olympics? Joining me right now is Asia expert Gordon Chang, and he is the author of the book called The Coming Collapse of China. Welcome, Gordon. Uh, so what are they looking for? I mean, you know that closed countries tend to be paranoid, but what are they looking for from people? They're looking for foreign secrets and technology because China has maintained this program for decades. And although, you know, there's been violence against cab drivers, really what they're doing is they want to know what the people in the back seat are saying and thinking. Yeah, when, when you mentioned violence against cab drivers, that, that's what the government says, that right. we are putting these microphones in these taxi cabs, 70,000, because we want to protect our drivers from being robbed or something bad happening to them. But really, you say the, the, the whole goal is to pick up stuff that what Americans and every other, any other country are talking about. Well, we know this because there's also violence against cab drivers in other cities in China, and the government doesn't do anything there. You know, it's just a coincidence. I don't think so. Right. So, you know, that's the reason why it says this is part of a spying program Unbelievable. Un but you're not surprised. No, I'm not surprised because the government has been doing this. Just a couple of months ago, Carlos Guterres, the Treasury Secretary, he had a problem. They, you know, laptops stolen, you know, Blackberries taken from somebody in England. It's part of a very comprehensive program. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, Human Rights Watch has come out and they've said something about this. They said uh, it seems to be to suggest an effort by the police or other security forces to eavesdrop on conversations or passengers rather than for the immediate safety and security of the taxi driver. So really, uh, you agree with what Human Rights Watch has said, but is there something really uh, something really juicy that they expect to get or that they could get? Well, they've gotten a lot of technology. They've gotten a lot of secrets um, from foreigners in the past, and they've done it in very different ways. Um, what they're doing now is just sort of ramping up their procedures. And so this is just another iteration of what they've been doing for so long. Okay, to what extent do you think they might be spying on their own people, gathering information so that they can go after them once the media attention turns away from China? Well, they do that. And of course, the technology that they've imported from foreign countries like the United States for this Olympics are going to be used against Chinese citizens once everyone goes home. So the legacy of these games are not going to be, you know, what we'd like to be, a more open society. It's going to be an enhanced police state. Absolutely. Um, you know, there was also a little controversy today. The U.S. athletes got off the plane, and I think we have some video here, wearing masks, literally, as they got off the plane going through the airport. And they were forced to apologize. They said uh, the wearing of protective masks upon our arrival into Beijing was strictly a precautionary measure uh, we as athletes choose to take, and in no way it was meant to serve and as, as an environmental or political statement. We deeply regret the nature of our choices. Our decision was not intended to insult uh, those who have put forth a tremendous amount of effort. Basically, the air quality is not good there. Uh, good move on the part of the athletes to jump off the plane and put these masks on? Well, they should. I mean, the air in Beijing is among the worst in the world, and they were too apologetic because if anybody should be apologizing, it should be the Chinese for having such a bad environment. I was. They were supposed to do more to clean up the air. They certainly That's right. were. Gordon Chang, we're going to have to leave it there, but the book is called The Coming Collapse of China, and we appreciate your joining us today. Thanks Thank so you. much. Fox News Channel is committed to providing viewers with more factual information in a balanced, fair presentation. Fox believes viewers should make their own judgments on important issues based on unbiased coverage. Our motto is, we report, you decide. Our job is to give the American people information they can use to live their lives more effectively. And our job is to tell them the truth wherever that truth falls.